good, what is good, what is good, beautiful people? Of course you know who I be. Good Doc, Dr. Mike TV, back again, once again. Instant classic in the making. First time to the channel, guys, make sure you subscribe, notify, do all the good things to make yourself well-versed in the good guys content. Everything you should need to know about me shall be listed in the links in the description area below. I wanna make this video real quick, piggybacking off of my previous video in reference to a talking point that I gave you guys at the end of the video that I wanted to expand on just a little bit. All right, so in the last video, I talked to you guys about Filipinas, Filipinas, sorry, using foreigners as arm candy in the Philippines. I mean, I think it's really funny how a lot of us go to the country and, you know, a lot of us would get to the point where, you know, you try to find the one that looks the best for you. That way you can use her as a bragging point to your friends to say, hey, look at what I got over here. Look at what I'm able to pull over here. Y'all just wish I was me. And you just try to make people jealous. But some people fail to realize that from the opposite end of the spectrum, Filipinas use foreigners as trophy pieces as well. Sometimes we're nothing more than talking points. We're conversational pieces for Filipinas. Like, Filipinas, outside of their general circle, when you're with a foreigner, all eyes are on them no different than it is on you. Now, if you're a foreigner that looks good, <clears throat> um, you know, conversation piece is gonna come a little bit quicker. All their friends are gonna be like, oh my God, where did you meet him? Can you hook me up with a friend? Does he have a friend? This, that, the other. And they're gonna start asking questions to the Filipina about you that, you know, you don't know what they're asking, but a lot of those questions are gonna come on the low. So it's kind of like, well, we're over here trying to get the best of the um, the best quality one of <laughs> most of us are at least. We're trying to get the best of the best that we possibly can for ourselves but y'all fail to realize that outside of money and stability and all of the things that we think Filipinas are looking for, and most of them are, they're actually using us as conversational pieces as well. Like, you don't think that if you're at least a good, half-decent looking foreigner, that a Filipina wouldn't be happy to have you on her arm? I'll put it to you like this. Let me throw this out there like this, because this is something that I've noticed throughout my own personal relationship. And I mean, it's hit and miss, guys, and I'll make sure that I throw in the caveats as well. My girl will not let me walk around the mall without us holding hands or like holding on my arm and stuff like that. And I'm not saying that she's clingy or possessive or anything like that, no. It's just the way that it is. But if somebody sees us together, they're gonna know that we're together. Like if you're just walking side by side with your Filipina, it's usually a question mark, because sometimes, that girl may even be embarrassed to be seen with you if she's not willing to hold on to you or not willing to, you know, hold your hand when you guys are walking in the mall. Chances are her commitment to the relationship is slim to none. Now, the caveat, sometimes girls are just doing that to mark the territory. Back to the point of being the trophy on the Filipina's arm. All right, back to that entire point that I was trying to make. Sometimes girls are possessive. Like, look, this is my property saying it without saying it. All they gotta do is lock eyes with Filipinas and kinda, they kinda been able to talk with their eyes. Like most Filipinas talk with their lips, remember? Mm. <laughs> like most of them talk with their lips, they talk with their eyes. So a Filipina will definitely use a foreigner as a talking point trophy piece. We used to talk a lot about uh, the idea of having half-breed children and, you know, those being the centerpieces of some families and how they are usually, um, how can I say this, they're fonded over as part of the offspring because they're different, they're unique, and all of the above. Um, but also, you know, you just being in a relationship with the Filipina, I'm telling you, that grabbing on your arm shit is real and if your girl ain't willing to hold on to you like that chances are she ain't really down with you like you think she is man she may not be as down for you as you think she is so that's just one of the things that i've learned throughout my experiences dealing with filipinas man sometimes we the foreigners are the trophy pieces we're the talking points and all of the above y'all stay blessed